All right, so this is my um, get and post application, um, the one for Python. Um, so over here on the left, um, we have the URL defined as the actual form. Um, that's where it loads the physical items into the actual page. Um, so for the first thing, I'll just put Chris. Um, I can define a password. And then as well, too, is I can choose an image to upload. And we'll hit submit. So now it changed the URL add action which is this one here and then it also posted the picture it posted my name and then it converted my password into an md5 hash um, so here's my code um, pretty much the main of it is down here um, if we look at the actual form that's the original page that we loaded up um, so it basically put together the two items and then we can actually pass parameters into it as well um, and then there's the upload one, which I had to create a route for this because it, when you go to upload something, the directory is not really the directory. Um, so when I originally used the code from the slides, it, for some reason, it, like every time we would try to upload the image, it would give me permission errors. Um, I tried chmod to make sure that the permissions were okay and was able to write it, but for some reason, it still wasn't allowed to. Um, so we just recreated a new route and then we defined the file name on it so that way it creates that directory so when we load up that directory it loads up that image too um, so you don't have to do like .jpg you can just do slash whatever the name of the picture is um, inside here is the add action so it does the get and the post and it pulls them into the actual uh, function um, so inside here uh, as well too just to find the hash called the library in which I also called at the top here um, and then converted it to an MD5 string um, so pretty much every time that we connect this with another statement it's gonna basically hash out the file um, so here we did hash dot update so inside of here is the actual text that we want to put into place so right now it's grabbing the information directly from the form and then it's directly inputting it into the md5 nor else on the page is the password but that one place so it makes it a little bit more secure too i guess um, so right below that um, we started defining the files um, so f equals and it pulls the actual file name and the file um, after that it takes it and then it actually combines it and then puts it into the directory or the upload folder with the actual file name um, so that way when it stores that information now it's going to be combined together rather than two separate concatenated statements which we would have to combine later um, and then here I created the actual locals so that way down the line um, I can use double brackets and do self dot uh, we'll say name so that way I can pull items from the actual page itself um, rather than having to do it this way and call the URL for and then combine the file names together or whichever. It just makes it a lot easier to use getters and setters and such to do that rather than deal with this. Um, yeah, and that's about it.